Hey guys, you know I have a lot of guns. And today we're gonna to talk about my three daily truck guns. Today guys, we're gonna talk about three different truck guns that I do carry. We're gonna talk about the Cadillac, we're gonna talk about the Chevy truck, and then we're also gonna talk about the big monster truck. Everything that when I do go in these different places, I want protection in the truck for any kind of situation. You never know what I'm gonna carry. Do you have a truck gun for the Bob Deuce? Cause you have two machine guns in the bed. Yes. You also have a truck yes. gun. Okay. I also have a truck gun. I don't know why. Well, cause I don't have time to get in That's the bed cool. of the truck. No, so. I, I, I like this because most of you out there also have truck guns. This is a thing. We have guns in our vehicles. This is no joke. Like these are the guns that the collector has in each of his vehicles the Escalade, the GMC Sierra, oh, Denali, yeah. the Denali, and, and the Bob Deuce. So let's get into it. Why do we all well, have truck guns? I have to go sometimes, it's kind of sketchy. So I definitely want something there that's going to cover my ass if I get in a situation where A, carjacking, B, you know, there's a mass shooting going on. I either want to protect myself, the wife, or get the hell out of town just to cover my ass. Something like that. Yeah, and I mean, there was the incident a couple years ago when the shooter shot up the church, right? right? Somebody that lived next door had a gun in his truck and chased the dude down, right? Like, it's easily accessible. You talk about going to going to high school, right? Yeah. You probably had guns in the on the rack. Oh yeah, we the had truck, them in the racks. Right? Like, it was a big. It was in the a parking big, lot. Nobody cared. We had shotguns in the back of the truck. You know, it was a big deal when somebody got in a fight. Now, if somebody had a gun, nobody gave a shit then. Yeah, it's just like concealed carry isn't always easily accessible when you're in your vehicle, right? Whether right. you're at four o'clock, even if it's appendix carry, it's not the best draw. Uh, so something that's easily accessible, even if you're not in a sketchy area, like people get angry on the road if you don't blink and stuff and you see the road videos rage. all the time of road rage. Yeah, road rage. Turning into crazy stuff. Comment below what your truck gun is so we can learn about what you guys are picking as well. But right. let's go through yours and see what, uh, see what you, you're doing. Okay. Well, the first one's gonna be the Cadillac. Now, when the wife and I go into town, and usually we take the caddy, I want something concealed, not showy, but just something there that I feel safe. And if I get in one of those situations, I have it handy. And right here is what it is. Glock 19 Combat Master. This is my first Combat Master that I had Taryn do. He didn't know me then, and I didn't know, it wasn't on YouTube at all. And this is the main one that I would carry that I'm used to carry. How long ago was that? How long have you had the com your uh, very first Combat Master? I see the slides locked, but the I'm, I'm right in there. It's fine. <laughs> the slide is locked, people. I feel comfortable. Block it with the Rolex. <laughs> How long ago was your first Combat Master? 2012, maybe? Thir maybe it's 13 or 14. I don't remember. I'm old. I want to say that's close to when he was starting to do them. Right, I like, could be wrong. It's It's been less than 15 years, right. I feel like. Super cool, that's the Glock 19. That's the one that I've seen you the most carry. Right. It's got the night sights on it. It's got everything on it that I want. It's perfect. You know, this is when my eyesight was good, so I just wanted, I didn't have to Yeah, I'm a Glock 17 guy because I don't have chip hands like Matt. But again, like we said, we're, we're picking the exact guns that Matt literally has in his vehicles. So the Glock, Glock 19, Combat Master, what, what does he do? He does the mag well, he does the grip, right. he does the slide cuts. Is the barrel or trigger different? Uh, no. no. Those are all standard. Standard Glock. Standard Glock. Standard Glock. You can't go wrong with Glock because they don't break. That's why I went with it. Plus it takes Glock mag, so if I need to find one on the ground, I can use it. Because it's a Glock. Yeah, it's Glock. It takes Glock. As long as it's 9, nine mm and I have to imagine this is like date night. Like this is this is date night, yeah. And you probably are still going on a lot of date nights in the truck. Oh yeah, this is like a special occasion. Yeah, exactly. So if her and I are going to the prestige. ranch, yeah. or if we're riding into the office together, I'll definitely take the truck, depending upon the weather, whatever we're doing, if we're picking shit up. Okay. Glock 19, first vehicle, Combat yep. Master, but it's a Glock 19. I feel like a lot of you are going to resonate with a Glock 19 in your truck. What's next, the truck or the, the big truck? No, we're going to do the uh, GMC truck. GMC. Okay, right now I'm gonna show you my daily driver. <laughs> GMC Denali. Yes, it's dirty, it's got bird crap on it, and it's got about $25,000 of hail damage on it I need to get fixed. But this is what I usually drive, probably to work, to the ranch, you know, just on a daily basis. If I'm hauling stuff, the wife will come with me and we'll take this. It's pretty dirty and it's pretty bigged up, but we'll get that fixed. I don't see, but I don't see a gun. You don't see a gun? Well, that's because it's hidden, buddy. Oh. Found a gun? 
I don't know how to put it together, so I'll let you do it. But yeah. You have a Lego gun? <laughs> Not really Lego gun. It's a BNT or folded gun. It's their new one they came out with. I was told there was like 450 of them made. Not very many of them. Really? But it folds up. What serial number is it? I don't know. Serial truck. Sure, we'll call it that. Anyway, it's gonna probably be one of my new favorite truck guns if I even put it in there. And it's also, just in case I need it, suppressor. But this is something I would take, you know, especially for if I'm going to the ranch or just anywhere, really. I mean, the Glock is handy, don't get me wrong, but this one is for if I'm out in the boonies, you know, something where I need a little bit more ammunition. This is it 45? No, it's nine. It's nine? It's okay. nine millimeter. And the Cadillac, I want to be more, you know, classy, more subdued, you don't really know. You know, when I'm in the truck, I may be someplace where I need more firepower, more ammo, something I could really... Plus you got that cool thing underneath the seat where you, have, right. you can store a bigger gun. That doesn't have to be exactly. a handgun. No, yeah, it doesn't have to be a handgun. So this is bigger for capacity depending upon where I'm at, if I need more firepower to get, get out of any situation I could be in. Yeah, and that's obviously not a quick draw, but like one thing they teach cops is that your pistol is most of the time used to get to your other gun. Like you want to go get your rifle or, or, or 100%. something like that. So. You're, you're getting that, because you still have your concealed carry on you, I would imagine, Correct. right? Yeah, Which I would is have the that. 42. Yeah. You guys can make fun of him for doing that. He carries a 380, a Glock 42. But again, we're just being honest about what he carries, and that's what he's carried for a long time <laughs> on his butt right here. So we'll make fun of him, because the 43, let's be honest, is the exact same size, and it's 9 millimeter. so there's absolutely no reason to own a 42. Uh, but he does, and he carries it, and he's a man feel, about it, and he owns it. Feel Great better job. Now. You feel better now, don't you? Great job. Jerk. Anyways, really cool gun. Yeah, it's badass gun. Is this semi-new? No, I've never looked under the seat, but I haven't seen this one. Uh, it's brand new. It's brand new. It's got a nice new aim point acro on it. Mmm. Which is badass. Yeah. Show that thing folded up. Like, how's that thing fold up? Fold it up. Hit this button here on the side where the handle's at. You got a little button right here for the magwell. Magazine. Yeah. And then that this stock the goes in as well. Yep. Handle right here. That's the charging. That's the charging handle. handle on top. Yep. How much to it? And I got other BNT uh, mags how, that will definitely work how quick with this. Does gun. the suppressor go on? Do you just go? Foof, foof? Yeah. It's a three lug, so you just. It's a three leg. Yeah. There you go. Boom. Wow. Boom. Perfect. So I love shooting this thing. This is fun, but I'm a BNT guy, so everybody knows that who watches my channel. So but you it, have them all, don't you? Almost all. Not all. Almost all the BNTs. BNT Swiss. We like the other ones. Uh, cool truck gun. Yep. Cool truck. I think we'll move on to the big boy. The bunny. Give me your gun. Give me your 42. I'll hit it with a 380. <laughs> See? <laughs> I was a pitcher growing up. Oh! <laughs> hey guys, this is my 1971 Bob Deuce that I got out of voice equipment, love this thing. It has night vision thermal, 18,000 pound winch in the front, 15,000 pound winch in the bed. Plus there's two gun mounts in the back. One's for the 50 cal, one's either for the 249 or the 240, which I sh completely love shooting out of this truck. It's so badass. Are the winches that heavy or is that how strong they can pull? Do they weigh 20,000 pounds? No, that's how strong they can pull. I just was wondering. Yeah, it'd actually dangle you around. I don't I, know if- I don't wear that much. <laughs> you sure? <laughs> okay, when I'm driving this, I'm not having a really low profile. So, granted, there is two big gun mounts on the back of the truck, which are pretty badass. But, so I want something that's very close by, something with more firepower, so I picked the six beer. Now, I know this doesn't look great in here, but I want to get some racks built so I can put the gun, and that's in the process of happening, so I can just stagger on the, the gun. I need to show you that company. There's this company that makes them. Uh, Gray Man Tactical. So they make them with straps and stuff and okay. specific mag holders and stuff. Really cool. They just sent me one. I need something we'll get one. Yeah. Really cool. Great. Hey, yeah. people. Yeah, that way it's not bouncing around getting right. beat up. Right. We don't want to drive anywhere like that. No, no. I won't drive anywhere like 
this. But I mean, so you're it, also like, you're gonna have to fight your way to get to this gun if you're in a gunfight. Yeah, that's why I grabbed my little. You gotta walk around. That's when I have my little. Yeah. So you got the 380. Yeah. You've got four rounds in it. So as long as there's only <laughs> there's more than four, there's six. <laughs> Plus you got one in the hole. Use the 380 to fight to get back here to the gym locker, gun storage, toting thing. Yeah. I already got cover fire with the 380, and I come back and get this. I also notice you don't have any guns on the big guns. They're not dangerous that way. Well, I know, but they will be. We can mount them up. We'll mount them up. Okay, and why the Sig Spear? Why would you choose the Sig Spear for your 308? This is essentially your bomb gun. You've got a handgun. Right. In the truck, you've got something that comes into like a little sub gun. This is 308, you said? Yeah, 308. So it's accurate. It's sighted in by Daniel Horner. So you know it's accurate as shit. Yeah, that's true. Shout out to Daniel Horner. Be great at sighting in guns and then shooting them to be accurate. Yeah. A 308, is it fully semi automatic or just semi automatic? It's semi automatic only. I usually had the suppressor with me on it, but today I forgot to put it on. Okay. Which is fine. Cool. But you never know because when I drive this thing, I do take this thing to the grocery store. I do drive this truck to the grocery store. So you never know when I'm gonna need it. I've heard about that. I've never seen it. Oh yeah, I've parked it really high on big snow drifts. We've talked about going to Chick-fil-A and going through the drive-through, because the Chick-fil-A out here in, in Bismarck, they have three lanes. The first two are under the overhead where it's like you wouldn't fit in this truck. But the third lane is on the outside because so many people want their delicious chicken. Shout out Chick-fil-A. So if we went on the third lane, everybody would be afraid. We'd definitely have to do it with the mounted guns, not the empty gun mounts because they just are confusing. But that would be kind of cool. Everybody tell Matt to go to Chick-fil-A in the Bob Deuce. Conference. I'll do it. There may not be any cones left because they make those so damn narrow. Hopefully they're far away, the bad guys. Because you do have That's a... why you have a 45 degree. Right oh, you do have a 45 degree. Yeah. Oh, and is... you've got the bipod. So you can hold, stand right there, don't move. If okay. You, yeah, that'll work if you just do it like that. <laughs> You'll figure it out. But it's a badass gun. Good, great. How often do you rotate through these truck guns? Because I know the Glock 19's been a staple for a long time. You just got the BNT and obviously put that in sometime recent. How often do you switch the guns out? Because you obviously have a lot of guns in the safe. We've, we've seen them. If you haven't seen them, click right here. There'll be a video somewhere to go watch. Um, how often do you them? switch them out? Every so often, not very often. Maybe once or twice a year. Every so often, you heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. Every so often, we switch the guns out. This is a shout out to our sponsor, Pepsi Wild Cherry Zero. <laughs> Make sure to bend your can like that so you have a spot for your thumb. Anything else people wanna know? Remember, they're gonna tell us what their truck guns are. I'm sure the B&T won't be one of them, but I could see somebody having a spear in their truck. Yeah, or three away of some sort. Most people have ARs, probably, Glocks, right. you name it. Some people don't carry anything. Can I tell you what I have? Oh, I can't wait. No. The desert, gold desert eagle. I'm a mostly normal human being people, so I just have one truck to go through, but I do have just as many guns in that truck. So on my left, like less ideally, less safe ideal, much like where Matt put all his guns, just right there in the cup holder or whatever. I got Springfield XDS in, in this right here. I got a Glock 17 and then under the back seat, you know, like, oh, Glock 17, pow, 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 pow. And then they're reloading. So I get out and I get back to the back seat, lift the back seat up and then I grab the AR and then I'm hoping the cops come before I have. <laughs> Who's the maker of the AR yet? Springfield Daisy? Armory. Oh, I thought it was a Daisy. It's a Springfield Armory okay. Saint. Again, normal human, Daisy. You thought I had like a BB gun? You never know, it's you. So it's a Springfield Army Saint, great <laughs> AR, great AR, but I, uh, you know, it's got a one by six on it. Nice. On the other side of that back seat, if you lift up that side, it's a, still a Saint, but it's a pistol. Why do you have so many guns in one vehicle? Because of where I'm from, I can do that. Okay, but what situation would you be nervous about? Honestly, the only situation that I would be nervous about is when the zombies come and we need to get away from the city quickly. That way I don't have to pack or I don't have to go get more guns. I already have enough in my truck that I can just get in the truck and go. That makes sense. But we do have six go bags we could throw in quickly and I would have everything I would need for six months. I'm sure you got MREs. Oh yeah, buckets. Buckets? Buckets yeah. of MREs. You would probably eat buckets of MREs. <laughs> Anyways, I digress. Thanks to Pepsi, <laughs> thanks to Chick-fil-A, a few of our other sponsors we mentioned during the yeah. video. The thanks for listening to Johnny's babble. We all enjoy that, naturally. But those are the three guns I carry in each one of my vehicles. Hope you guys like the video and take care. <laughs> Don't forget to rotate your guns sometimes. <laughs>